spring chicken. Well, remember we told you we were busy doing Fashion Week all week? Oh, yes, we definitely are. Which, can you tell? We had to get ready for Fashion Week because, well, this happened to be one of the designers at CBI. But meanwhile, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. The market is recovering today from its mistaken information from the White House. It seems like the President of the United States, in order to make the economy look better, has now added gasoline stations as retail businesses. Well, when did that happen? Uh, it happened because he wanted to make the retail industry look like it went up in sales when it actually went down, which anybody knew that if retail orders to, to manufacturers was down, transportation was down, inventory is up, it means that they weren't selling anything. What happened was there was a 3.8% increase in the cost of gasoline, so the President of the United States and his people just simply added it to retail sales, which made retail sales look like overall it had gained 1.1% when it actually went down horribly. And Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, to skip two debt payments. I know you can't skip debt payments. Uh, what happens is the city's in default, which means they're going to have to go into bankruptcy. And Santorum wins the South. Romney over 60% of the vote against him. Oh God! I mean, it was a it was a massacre. He did win, almost didn't win American Samoa, and it's too close to call in Hawaii, where he where he has a residence. You believe, and they said that they don't want Romney, and I think the Republican leadership, I heard him speaking about 1 o'clock in the morning, that it looks like Romney is not the man. You believe that? Because he can't take, he, he can't take anything out of the eastern or industrial area. And if you can't win the rest of the country, then you're screwed, folks. And Occupy Wall Street in New York running low on cash. Yeah, because the Democrats aren't the Democrats aren't feeding them anymore because of all the damage and destruction they've been doing. Mm -hmm. But you can't say that we represent the people and they're destroying the people's homes, the people's property, the little guys' businesses. So they're trying to distance other than Obama is trying to distance himself from the Occupy movement now. An author defends Doonesbury abortion strip. I know, this is, Doonesbury now is going after Rush Limbaugh and the Republicans when they, by doing that, the, the, uh, okay, what happens is a god awful amount of the newspaper publications in this country are not liberal, they're conservative, so he's being dumped at a rate faster than Limbaugh would be, oh I love that, Limbaugh only, Limbaugh only has 1,800 sponsors lined up to replace the 42 that he's lost. Uh -huh, and it uh -huh. is not having, a, it's having a lasting effect for Limbaugh. He's got sponsors lined up at his doorstep. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and I wonder if it was staged. I would, he, he needed, his ratings had been going down. He needed something to attack and this woman who this morning was, I mean, last night was on television again that People are mistaken about the high cost of uh, birth control and that we can't get it for free. And at the press conference, the poor young girl who's being thrown to the wolves uh, found out from a woman reporter, well, my daughter goes to the same college and is supplied for free, and I use it as $16 a month. And Afghan officials visit Guantanamo in Peace Bid. Well, yeah, because Obama's going to ship Taliban people back to Afghan. As he's retreating, he's going to send the same guys that caused all the problem back to the country. And Obama losing the woman's vote. Oh, yeah, isn't that a good one? Okay, this is one that the Republican women were telling Bill O'Reilly. One of them said that, remember, Bill O'Reilly is a man, and most of the people, the pundits of the Republican Party are males. And they had this idea that women in the Republican Party are in lockstep behind the women in the Democratic Party. No, they're not. If the women in the Republican Party don't like the Republican, they don't vote for it. And the women in the Republican Party tend to be more on the uh, let's have kids or, or, or adopt kids mode, not about having birth control. So, and they, they tend to be outnumbered. They said, well, 98% of the people in this nation use birth control. Well, unfortunately, they can't support, Democrats can't support that issue because, well, uh, they said that 9 out of 10 Republican women don't use birth control, so automatically they're screwed on their figures. Anon to meet Assad, seeking end to Syria violence. Well, this morning, one of the, the so-called generals for Assad who's left said that the military is now fully functioning on its own. Assad has no longer control. 
and they're basically doing as they see fit, and they're going to continue the Civil War until they crack the backs of the movement. So said, going after Assad won't make any difference because the military is running everything. And thousands rallying in Libya against autonomy for East. Yeah, all because what happened was when they threw out the guy who was providing money for everyone, basically destroyed the industry that they need to produce money. I mean, isn't that brilliant? What you do is like you, like your uh, Afro-Americans and destroy all the businesses in a community. People aren't likely to come back into those communities to re jumpstart stuff anymore because they know that the wrong people are now going to be in control in Libya, so you're not going to go back in and invest in that country now. And Michigan boy 11 describes being buried for nearly 30 minutes. Well, I understand the problem. I, I, I have, right well, now most people have claustrophobia in them because I was, I was able to wiggle into places. I would have to go into places on homes that my father was working for, and I hated being in confined places. So when you crawl into a hole to fix, um, the, the, you know, to put, uh, to retighten the gasket underneath a road, you really know what being scared is like. And Whitey Bulger may have been working on memoirs, prosecutors say. I think, uh, you know, why would a guy that is hiding from the public write a book telling everybody about everything he's doing? That's, that's sort of stupid. Mm -hmm. And pair of strong earthquakes rattle nerves in Japan. Well, because it, it basically they got a volcano, they got an active volcano in the country. And an earth, I mean, I don't think I ever went to Japan when there wasn't an earthquake. Mm -hmm. And things politicians say and what they really mean. Um, okay, like the President of the United States condemning the tra you know the trade problems with China. At the same moment, he's got our country investing in solar panels in China in violation of our trade laws because he's importing stuff from China which we can make in our country because he needs to support the solar industry which is failing in our country by buying panels that are supposed to be made here. That's, that's speaking on both sides of your mouth. And bus crash in Swiss tunnel kills 28 people, mostly children. Well, I know. I mean, the, um, what happens is, is the uh, Swiss tunnels go on for 19, 20 miles. So uh, they're, they're terrified all the time of, uh, of, of a fire catching happening because the last time I think it wiped everybody out in the tunnel. So to have an accident, in a tunnel with a bus or anything, basically everybody on earth is driving at two flights of speed hits it. And jury gets case in Rutgers webcam spying trial. Okay, first of all, the, 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 okay, uh, the guy should never have been charged with the crime they charged him with because all it was, first of all, you're not spying if the guy knows there's a webcam in the room. Mm -hmm. So he committed suicide because people found out he was gay. They're all saying they all knew he was gay. So that's sort of a bogus thing. And Syria violence rages and Anon seeks Assad answers. Well, Assad, like I like said a little while ago, the military is running it. It's just like the military is running everything in Egypt. Uh, Assad is, is nothing more than uh, American educated, English speaking front for the military. And Afghanistan and U.S. signed prison transfer deal. Yeah, Obama's going to give them back all the people that were in charge of the troublemaking. Oh, really? Yeah. And is the media dragging out the Republican primary season? Well, they're not dragging out. The people don't want Mitt Romney. The public, okay. The uh, media wants the whole thing to end now so that Obama can simply go after Romney 100%. They want it done. The Republicans don't want it dragging on because they want Romney to be their man. So dragging it out, no. They want it over with. All you got to do is look at the right wing and left wing pundits. Well, this is not good because if Romney isn't the isn't the uh, Republican nominee, who will be? Because it won't be Santorum and it won't be Gingrich, and it's certainly not going to be Paul. And Slovak left poised to win election and seek reformists. Yeah, you know, it's just. Um, uh, uh, okay, everything is going back to the way it was before Obama became president. Before Obama became president, we had more or less a world that was at peace. Now that he's president, there's all hell broke out everywhere. And Obama's $50 light bulb, too pricey. Oh yeah, who's going to pay? Okay. <laughs> who's going to pay for these god awful green lights that also have to be disposed and has hazardous waste? Mm -hmm. And he vetoed. They couldn't get, uh, there wasn't two-thirds enough. The House and the Senate both got rid of all the green lights. Obama vetoed it because he's totally green. 
Anna Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, uh, okay. It, you can restart things when you get old. It's a lot. It, it,